Well, what do you do at times where you have to get something done, where your creativity is not flowing and you're having trouble creating content? So essentially, I guess, form the writer's block. Yeah, that's a good question. I, it does kind of go back a little bit to I'm always I'm always reading and I'm always like out and about in town kind of like looking at different things. So if I'm not, you know, I'll read through different articles and see if maybe there's something that sparks my interest about something else and maybe that leads me down another path that that article didn't cover and I want to I want to try that um I'm constantly looking at you know what's going on around town who's playing a show where what art exhibits are opening up next week um oh there's a new restaurant down the street that's brand new like what's that about that kind of thing um I will also like poke other people's brains and just like see what other people are listening to and be like oh did you did you read anything this week that you really liked or did you listen to any music or album that you thought was really cool or like what are you doing um just like keeping my ears open to everything that's going on around me I think it's the best way that ideas come to me so that I don't end up you know I think if I if I sit down at my desk and I try really hard to think of an idea that's when I usually don't come up with anything but if I put my headphones in, I put an album in and I go take a walk. Um, you never know like what you're gonna see or like what you're gonna think of when you're when you're listening. Good point, yeah. So the point I, yeah, I want to make as, so I'm, I'm a writer, right? So amongst other things, photographer, I've, I've done writing, um, graphic novels and screenplays and whatnot. So I understand the entire, uh, the writer's block part and what you just described there is how you summoned your muse in a sense, right? How did you get that, that inspiration going? So, you know, for anybody that kind of does feel that block, there's two things that go about this, right? So it's the perfectionism, right? So you have to write the perfect piece, the perfect screenplay, and it's so heavy. <laughs> and then it's like, can I do that? So you have to sort of like ignore that. And then like you were saying, it's like, even if you don't have any ideas, nothing's coming to you, you have to summon that muse back to what it is that usually inspires you. Or I will sometimes, even if I have kind of a baked idea, I might bring it to someone and be like, is this anything? Like, what do you think about this? And maybe that person is like, oh, that's kind of cool. But what do you think about this angle or like this part of it? And, and suddenly the idea starts to develop a little bit more. You know, it's really helpful to pick other people's brains 